What's up guys welcome back to Android Studio tutorial of Hello World. Now in this video we will start with our Hello World application and as the name suggests our application is going to say Hello World. So let me first introduce you with Android Studio and how to get started with it. So here I have opened my Android Studio. Now this is the welcome pop up of the Android Studio that will appear on the screen when you hit open this Android Studio application. The column on the left hand side will show you all the recent projects that you have done and on the right hand side there will be lots of menu options. To start a new Android Studio project open an existing Android Studio project. You can also open the recent projects right from here by clicking on it. And if your recent projects are not here then you can simply go for it and browse your existing Android Studio project stored in your laptop. Then this is something related to version control, your git repository, your github repository or you can say subversion system. And also in case you have downloaded some eclipse project or some android studio project from the website then you can simply import that project and then start working on it. Now let's go ahead and start our new android studio project. And here on the top right side of the android studio pop up you can see update info. Now in case there is any update available from the Google then you can simply hit on update and this will update your Android Studio to the latest public version. Now let's go ahead and start our new Android Studio project. So this is the pop up to create the new project. This is your application name. As of now let's give it hello world. Now guys this is the application name that is going to appear in the Google Play Store. So in case you start with any random application name then please don't worry about it. While deploying your application in the Play Store you can still change your application name. Now how to change the application name I will show you later on. And this is the company domain. Now why this company domain is here guys because your website name is always unique. So suppose your website name is www.google.com then you can simply write google.com because google.com is the unique domain name owned by Google. In case you are having any website then please write the website name right here. Now why this is important? Now suppose if I edit something here let's say let's write hello world. Now as I was editing this company domain name then you must have noticed this package name was also changing. Earlier it was something else now it is something like com.helloworld.shrinksiddhartha.helloworld. So this package name is very very important guys this is because while deploying your application in the play store this package name should always be unique. Suppose there are hundreds of thousands of same application in the play store then those applications are differentiated with the help of this package name. Maybe in the play store there might be many other application which are named similar to your application but those applications are always differentiated with the help of this package name. So this package name should always be unique. Now in case you start with any random application package name then later on while publishing your application in the play store then also you can change the package name. So please don't worry about it. You can still edit your package name later on and manually also you can edit your package name right here. Let's say let's change it to world. Now down the side is the project location. Now it is always recommended to store your project inside your D drive or E drive other than C drive because C drive gets affected with viruses very easily. So it may damage your application, it may damage your application codes and I am pretty sure you don't want that. So here let's change the location to let's say Android Studio Projects. Yeah. So here we go. This is our project path D drive Android Studio Projects Hello World. Now guys this application name package name I am going to discuss with you in detail in the upcoming video. So please don't worry about it. As of now just remember this package name should always be unique. So let's proceed and hit on next. 
So here are many options, phones and tablet, TV and wear. As of now, our primary focus is to make application for phones and tablet. So here is the minimum SDK. If you browse this, you can see lots of options are here. API 13, 14, 15, 16 and so on. So this minimum SDK is the minimum SDK version at which your application is going to run. So our application is compatible at present with Android 4.0 and above. Down the side you can see lower API levels target more devices but have fewer features available. So if I select this 13 honeycomb then definitely it is going to have less features because there are many new features that were introduced in Android 4.0 and above versions. So if I select API 14 then it is going to cover about 90.4% of the devices that are active on the Google Play Store. So as of now let's take it as a standard API level Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich and if you select this API 5.0 lollipop then it is going to show less than 1% of the devices are active on the Play Store that have API 21 Android 5.0. So let's select API 14 only which covers most of the devices and hit on next. Now inside the create new project you will find lots of options are here. The first is add no activity, the second is blank activity and you can see some material design features are by default present here. This is a floating action button and this is the empty activity. This is the full screen activity. Then comes the login activity in case you want to provide the default login activity page for the user. And down the side we are having the navigation drawer activity which we are going to talk about it in this course itself. This is the scrolling activity. And down the side at the bottom we are having settings activity and tabbed activity. Now guys maybe you guys are using some other versions of Android Studio. So maybe few of these are not available in your Android Studio. But at the time of making this video these are the options that I am having while creating a new project. So as of now let us simply select this empty activity. Now make sure whenever you create a new project as of now for the beginners always select this empty activity. Fine. So let's select it and click on next. Now this activity name, layout name, title and menu resource name. Please don't worry about it. Again I will discuss all these things in detail. Just I am making this video to make you aware how to create a new project. Clear? So hit on finish. So here Gradle is building our project and soon after some time our project is going to open. So as soon as the Android Studio open there will be a prompt showing you tip of the day. So each day it is going to show some tip. You can follow it or if you think you are having good hold on the Android Studio then you can simply uncheck it and close it. Fine. So here our application is opened. This is our activity main.xml and this is our main activity.java. Now guys in Android what do we have? We are having one Java file linked with a layout file. This is our main activity.java. And please don't worry about all these codes guys. These are pretty simple codes. So as of now just take the overview of Android Studio and our first application. At present, Android has created the Hello World application for us. Inside the activity main.xml, this is the layout or the appearance of our application. At present, it is a very basic application layout with just a Hello World text right here. And on the left hand side, you can find our palette. These are the layouts, these are the widgets. Plain text view, large text view, buttons, radio buttons, checkbox, switch, toggle button, image view, progress bar, blah blah blah. And these are the text fields for taking the user input such as username, password, email, phone, postal address and so on. And down the side you can see many of our widgets are present. So we will make use of all these widgets to create our layout for the user. Now. 
This is the design tab inside the activity main.xml. On the right hand side you can find the text tab. Inside the text tab you can find few codes. Now these codes guides are very very easy. So please don't worry about it. We will discuss each of these codes in detail in our upcoming videos. This is our text view that contains the text hello world and is presently stored inside the string hello world. Now this add the rate string guys is referring to an address where our hello world text is stored and this activity mean.xml layout is actually linked to our main activity dot java. So here comes our java file that contains few predefined codes and on the left hand side I am having the project structure. Here is the project structure if you click it it will close it and so on. Presently I am under the android hierarchy. Now there are three types of hierarchy guys. This is the project hierarchy, this is the flat view that is android and this is the packages hierarchy. Now guys it is always recommended to work under the project hierarchy. Just select it. So this is our project hierarchy. Now if you expand this hello world application you will find bunch of folders are there. At present our primary focus is our app folder which is actually called in module. If you expand the app folder then please expand the source folder. Now inside the source you will find two folders android test please ignore it this main folder is our primary focus as of now now if you expand this you will find java files and resource files now as the name suggests this java file contains our main activity dot java and this resource folder contains all the resources that is actually visible to the user for example this activity main dot xml which is the layout which is visible to the user is stored inside the resource folder so please expand it. Here you will find the layout folder, drawable folder, menu folder and few mid map folders. Pretty awesome. Now if you expand this layout folder you will find the activity main.xml that we just saw is actually stored inside the layout folder. So all the layouts that the user see are actually stored inside the layout folder. Pretty simple. Now this menu folder and this drawable folder guys I am going to discuss with you in the upcoming videos as of now I don't want to confuse you guys and if you notice this text view contains text equal to add the red string slash hello world now this string is something which is stored inside the values folder inside the strings.xml if I open this you can find string hello world is what is having the string hello world exclamation pretty simple now inside the activity main.xml this is the address at the red string slash hello underscore world this hello underscore world is nothing but this hello underscore world which is having the test hello world exclamation which is actually visible to the user now let's expand this java file now if you expand this java directory you will find our package name com dot shriyanksiddhartha dot hello world this is the unique package name that we created while creating the project fine which contains a main activity dot java file so i think it's too much for this video guys in the next video i will explain you again all the project hierarchy this app folder this main folder java folder resource folder and inside the resource folder what these bunch of folders stands for and last but not the least this build.gradle file guys is very very important for our application. This contains what are the dependencies, what are the libraries that we are using in our application. And also it is going to show you the compiled version which is currently the android lollipop, the target version which is the lollipop and the minimum SDK version that is API level 14, ice cream sandwich and this is the package name under the default config. All these codes guys please don't worry about it. I know as a beginner it is too difficult to understand but trust me guys you are going to understand each and everything in detail in the upcoming videos. So meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to this channel 
and make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter and catch you guys in the next video.